As a Detroit Pistons fan, this might be the best day of the season, and the season's over. Uh, Monty Williams is gone. I'm so excited. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, Monty Williams was given a bad roster, and that is true. However, Monty Williams did not help at all, and I'm going to do a list of all the things that Monty Williams did during the season to sabotage. For one, starting Killian Hayes over Jaden Ivey so much that like people had to intervene. Killian Hayes should have been a lower priority player from the beginning of the season, but for some reason, Monty Williams took a liking to him, and then we waived him. So that was the only way that Killian Hayes was going to not happen is if we waived him, because Monty Williams liked playing him so much. Second, when Isaiah Livers was healthy, he played 20 minutes per game. I know that we were like low on players and whatever, but I still think that this is just, you, there's no need for that. Like, he got traded to the Wizards and did not play for them. Monty Williams refused to stagger Cade and Ivy for a long part of the season. We were asking, like, hey, give Ivy some more on-ball reps. No, just didn't, refused. So much so that the higher-ups, like, had to intervene and be like, maybe you should play Jade and Ivy on the ball more. What? There should be... <laughs> How did we get here? Because he refused to stagger Cade and Ivy, we got a lot of all-bench lineups, which was so frustrating because every time we put in our bench we would lose any form of even positive momentum that we would have i know that some games we just wouldn't have any momentum at all but any even glimpse of positive momentum as soon as you put in that all bench lineup it was awful and he stuck with that for the entire season didn't matter who's on the bench he would play an all bench lineup all right, next up is the press conference lies and the lack of encouragement. Uh, Monty Williams would say one thing in a press conference and then do the complete opposite thing, like the same game or pretend like we weren't watching. It felt like we were being gaslit for months on end. And I can get being a bad team, having a bad roster, being a young team, but your horrendous vibes in the press conference didn't give any sort of hope optimism whatever like you can look at the lions with like dan campbell when they were bad at least dan campbell was like oh yeah there's a plan here i like and he was inspiring the troops monty williams was not doing that marvin bagley would get dmps just randomly because uh we wanted to give james wiseman some shots i don't know this this seems like front office meddling as well if they were trying because he got traded i feel like this was it, that was weird times. Next up is having an 11-man rotation. Often, he would do this. He would play 11 players. Like, it was like a church league, and there's a rule that you had to play everybody. It was weird. We were already the worst team, but we were playing some of the worst players. Whatever, fine. Monty Williams' lack of creativity, scheme-wise, really hurt Asar. Now, yeah, I know Asar isn't the best shooter, but as a slasher, as a finisher, he was great. But we were not creative enough to get him into the proper things for him at this moment. It was bad. It was it was hard to watch Asar Thompson just sit in the corner while Cade and whoever tried to figure things out. It was bad. I didn't even mention the 28 game losing streak. That happened. Like, I didn't even mention that. They, these were all before that. The 28 game losing streak was really bad because... There were a lot of opportunities to break the streak going into the fourth quarter, but Monty Williams just mismanaged every step of the way that we Pistons fans were like, he's trying to lose these games. There's no way. Once again, absolutely horrendous vibes, not able to galvanize the troops. It was like dismal. There wasn't no like, oh, we're a bad team, but at least we like, we're going to be good. Like, no, it just felt like dismal, bleak. Winning less games than Dwayne Casey who only had Cade coming in for 12 games in his last season, they won 17 games. This Pistons team had Cade 14 games. Immaculate. Not giving Isaiah Stewart backup center minutes and starting Asar, Isaiah Stewart, and Duran. I know that that's like the best talent available, but like it just, it was easier when Isaiah Stewart and Asar were playing together on like the backup five. But again, we had like, eight different centers this one's more on troy weaver but yeah and last but not least playing evan fournier this has nothing to do with monty williams i just don't like watching evan fournier play basketball